Hey guys, welcome back to our new weekly video. I'm Nicholas. And I'm Laura. And today we're going to read your assumptions about us. <laughs> So as you know, we travel around the world full time and because of that, you have quite a bit of assumptions about us. Yeah. So we gathered them and we will read them out loud. We'll display them right here. Let's get into it. I think you guys eat pizza all the time just like we do. <laughs> that is so true for me. Nicholas loves eating pizza. I, I eat pizza like twice weekly at least. Yeah, what's your favorite? Mm, I think like really favorite with like burrata and like very <laughs> fresh tomatoes and just like typical Italian fresh flavor. But do you eat pizza? I do eat pizza, but just from time to time, I actually really love to eat and I could eat it every day, but I don't eat it every day because I want to like make sure that my body stays clean and healthy and yeah, you get it. My assumption is that you love each other and are very happy together. Yay! Okay, that is we, so true. We definitely do love each other and we're happy together. So we're I feel a butt coming up. <laughs> No, I mean, we're definitely happy together, but just like any other couple, we have our moments where we're like a little bit less happy or we have like bad days in our relationship. I mean, that's like pretty normal, I think, right? But I think you can definitely say that we're happy together. Yes, that's absolutely true. Okay, mm -hmm. we assume that you are both lovely people inside and out and that you balance eating well with some time pigging and that you guys work hard but also make time for some downtime. Okay, so that's like a lot of assumptions in like, in like one mm. sentence. It's so sweet that you guys think that we're like lovely people inside and out. Like honestly, that really means a lot to us and it's really sweet. Definitely on the outside, Aww. on the inside. Oh my god, that is so rude. Okay, we have a balance of eating and sometimes we like to just like not eat well. I think that's what your assumption Definitely. is. And that's true, I think most of the time, well, I'm talking for me, I try to eat very healthy and well. Nicholas actually doesn't. So that's like that assumption. I'm a is like, very unhealthy eater. Yeah, so I think that assumption is like not completely right because Nicholas does not eat healthy. Like I'm the one who eats healthy and sometimes just like eats McDonald's and like stuff like that. And the other thing was you guys work hard but you also make time for downtime. And I think, yeah, we do work really hard. I personally don't think we take enough time like. I think we work a bit too hard. Yeah, I, we honestly think so. And it might sound weird like that we say that from ourselves that we work too hard. It's but... fun reading these assumptions. Yes. Because it will make us take more time for ourselves. Yeah, it's true because we really should do less. that more and just just like have more like romantic evenings and date nights and things like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. This Next. is such a romantic moment. Okay. <laughs> Next thing, obviously rich family, you went to fashion school, you're fighting all the time and you have vodka orange juice for breakfast. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, that's that's such a funny one. That's really a funny one. How do you guys even come up with that? <laughs> vodka orange juice as breakfast? No way, we're what? having mimosas, not <laughs> vodka orange juice, what? We're not from a rich family. Of course, we, we cannot complain. I mean, we don't have like We have a roof money. over our head and yeah, absolutely. we get fed, so. Yeah, been like very fortunate as well that we we're able to travel as kids with our family already. That obviously created our passion for travel as well. So yeah, we're not from a rich family. We're not like very poor, but we're not like super rich or rich rich or anything. Absolutely not. We did not go to fashion school. I did an internship though in New York where I was working in fashion and I did work in the fashion industry before we started traveling. I have zero affinity with fashion, <laughs> like zero. Oh yeah, you did some modeling work for like fashion. Like Laura tells me what to wear every day. Yeah, that's before true. this video, I was like, but what should I wear? And she's like, hmm, maybe you can try that or that. So. Okay. We're fighting all the time. We are not fighting all the time. We do fight. We do fight. Especially while shooting. Because we're just like arguing about like where the camera should be. Or like, no, you have to hold your hand like this. I told you already so many times. I think we argue most about me being annoyed at Laura saying like the whole time. <laughs> Like, yeah, if you just if you just go back to what she just said, she said at least 
four times the Did word I? like. Yeah, of course. I don't notice that. Yeah, so we do not fight all the time, but obviously we're just like any other couple and we do fight about things. We have our arguments. Yes, we have our arguments. And we don't drink vodka orange juice for breakfast. We drink, I drink grapefruit juice in the morning. In a very luxury hotel mm -hmm. from time to time, I might have a little glass of champagne in the morning, but that's about it. A glass of champagne in the morning? Like maybe 10 days a year I drink in the yeah, morning? Yeah, but that's it for the rest of the That just actually like... sounds quite a lot. Like that 10 days sounds a like a lot. Okay, next one. Someone says Nicholas is big spoon and Laura is little spoon. <laughs> That was true one year ago. I feel like now we've evolved into mixing it up. Yeah, it's Sometimes true. Sometimes I'm Little Spoon as well. That's true. That's true, yeah. Yeah, it's just we only little... We only started doing that like a couple months ago. I... And before that, we did not really I was do always that. the big spoon. That's true. Now we're like mixing it up. I don't know why, but that's the answer. Somebody says that you're amazing photographers and awesome humans. First of all, that's really kind, but I don't feel like we're like amazing photographers. Nor are we amazing humans. No, we're not amazing humans either. We are good at taking like our own photos, like we learned that on the way. But if would if you would ask us like to shoot anything like insane portraits or like <clears throat> i feel like we don't have an eye for that yet so i would not call ourselves like great photographer right do you have anything to add yes i am going to put the like counter right here and we're gonna count how many times laura said like i don't feel like we're like amazing photographer but i don't feel like we're amazing photographers uh, like in in terms like we are good at taking like our own photos like we learned that on the way but if would if you would ask us like to shoot anything like insane portraits or like <clears throat> i feel like we don't have an eye for that yet so i would not call ourselves like great photographers okay. by the way i watch the statistics of our channel and over 80 percent of people watching our videos yeah. haven't subscribed yet really so if you're watching this and you haven't su subscribed yet yes that would mean so much to smash us smash that subscribe button yeah somebody says i assume you are never tired of shooting oh my god that assumption is so false. I don't even have to start shooting and I'm already tired of it. Like we took a picture in the garden yesterday and before I was downstairs or outside, I was already tired of yeah, it. Yeah, we really love what we do and we love creating content. I mean, otherwise we wouldn't be doing what we're doing. Like sometimes we feel like a lot of pressure to create lots of content and then it can be, then it can be like tiring. Then we're like, oh, we really don't feel like shooting. We wish we could just sit here and enjoy and don't have to shoot anything. So we do get tired of shooting a lot. Next. Majority of your wardrobe is gifted. I'm looking at my wardrobe right now because it's behind the camera. Mine, is Mine not. isn't either. No. Not yet. Before we started traveling, I was already in fashion. So I already bought like so much because I was obsessed with fashion. I bought like a lot of stuff. So I still, and I still do by the way, if I see something that I like, I just buy it. Somebody says, I assume you had well-paying jobs before you started this adventure and that you saved. I, mean, um, I didn't have a well-paying job. No, me neither, to be honest. We had like I had a very mediocre paying job. I had a car, I had a laptop, I had an iPhone, I didn't Same. have to pay for my fuel, I got like meal vouchers every day, Same. and I got yeah. quite a nice amount on my bank account every yeah. month. Yeah, that's true. Um, so but I wasn't rich. So you could say that we saved money, but it's something that we just did. Like every month we would put like some money aside and like save up money. We've been doing like both of us have been doing that for like many years. I've been saving money my whole life. Yeah. I'm not a big spender at all, so we yeah. were just putting it aside for yeah. the future, not yeah. to go travel exactly. specifically. Exactly. And then it's a decision that you need to make. Do you want to use that money for traveling or to buy a fancy car or a house? And we used it for traveling and investing it in our business eventually. I was wondering if you guys got married because you've been using on TikTok and on Instagram the same last name Herbert. <laughs> That is false. Okay, that is false, guys. We did not get married at all. Laura used Laura Nadine Herbert because Laura Nadine was already taken on most social media platforms. Yeah. So she just decided to put yeah, because, my last name on it as yeah, well. Yeah, that you're really fun to hang out with. That's so sweet. Bet you two are perfect. We're absolutely not perfect. I can't say I have any words to assumptions other than couple goals. Oh. 
so sweet. You guys are so sweet. It's insane. And I assume you have the same kind of problems as all of us do, including sometimes the first world problem. You're both adorable, and if you're ever in LA, let's hang out. Yay! That's true. That's really true. It might seem like our lives are perfect because we get some assumptions saying like, oh, your life is perfect. Our life's absolutely not perfect. We have problems just like everyone. We have health issues. We have family issues. We have just like day-to-day -day problems like everyone. My assumption of you is that you both always look gorgeous. Oh, girl, you're really sweet, but you should see us waking up in the morning. <laughs> Okay, next one. You can't really enjoy your travels anymore because of the pressure to create content. That's I, a deep one. I have to say that it's true in some kind of way. For us, it's really important that we take good photos. So sometimes it's true, right? When we're like at a really beautiful spot, we sometimes get more focused into getting that perfect shot instead of like really enjoying where we are. But we still enjoy traveling so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Another one, which is really good as well, is you want a break from social media. Yeah. I'd love to take a little break, like just for a week. Yeah, like we obviously love it, but it would be great if we could just like take a few days off of social media. I but like not only social media, I just like to do a complete digital detox and don't spend any time yeah. on a screen for a week. Yeah. I think that should be our next challenge. Yeah, I think that that would be great. Okay, next one. I think you two are always positive. Definitely not. Definitely not. We have a lot of moments where one of us isn't positive, yeah. but then fortunately we have each other and the other person will try and bring the Lift each other up. up. Okay, you get paid over 10k for a job brand deal. Some jobs yes, some jobs no. So yes and no. <laughs> It's true, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I know. It really depends on the company and the brand, on like the deliverables and what we... The scope of the project. Yeah, it really depends. Some <laughs> yes, some no. Some yes, some no. Some yes, some no. Some yes, some no. Some yes, some no. I think you guys are so real and that you are exactly the same off camera. Yes. Yes, well, we try we to. We are now. I wasn't in the beginning, but I am now. <laughs> I feel like that's true. Yeah, we try to be ourselves and it's like really, it makes us really happy to get messages like that, like people saying you're so real because because we really try to be like as real as possible with you guys. <clears throat> do you want to do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Let's okay, end with one. a banger. So if you haven't liked this video yet and you liked it, please like it. <laughs> it would mean a lot to us if you just like give us a little like because we're just like starting out on YouTube and you know, it's it's nice. Ah, uh, just one last one. I think that's an important one and a lot of people assume that. You guys have the perfect relationship, that's what I think. Um, no, our relationship isn't perfect. Do we have a good relationship? Yes. Is it perfect? No. What makes us good is the fact that we can communicate with each other, which maybe in the past we didn't always do. We grew a lot in our relationship by, as Nicholas said, by communicating. So we still have like these arguments and these fights or like disagreements. And now we know that we can just like clear that up in just five minutes. We can sit down and talk to each other. I want to give one more tip to end this video. Never go to sleep being mad at each other. Yeah, that's true. Always make up before going yeah, to sleep. Yeah, that's something that we really learned. Like, you cannot go to bed angry. Just like make sure that you talk about it, clear things up, and that will make you like better friends and it will make your relationship grow a lot. We're just human people like everyone else that have discussions and disagreements but i like the way we handle things and we're like best buddies that's for sure <laughs> okay so that was it guys i hope you really liked it and next week we'll be back with another video this was laura and nicholas and we'll see you next week see you Bye. next sunday <laughs>